I know I haven't been posting for such a long time But today I'm here to share some of my recent beauty favorites I haven't been changing or trying a lot of different things in the past few months But today I still have quite a few products to share with you all And so let's get started First, let's talk about primer I have been trying this Smashbox Photo Finish Primer Water At first, I thought it would be a gimmicky thing that it just water How could it help my makeup to last longer? But after trying it, it, I feel like it does help my makeup to apply easier and it does help it to last a little bit longer than without using it. So I have been really enjoying using it. For face, after reviewing the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops, I have been really enjoying it and I got a full size. And since I got a full size, I have been using it non-stop. I mix it with my moisturizer or primer and base. It's just really easy to mix it and apply it on the face and it has really good coverage. But I don't like mixing it with a silicone primer because I think it is harder to mix it together and it doesn't seem as good as the gel or cream primer that I mix with so keep that in mind if you wanted to try it for concealer, I haven't been trying anything new I'm still using my um, Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer but I back to one of my old favorites which is the Tarte Creaseless Concealer it has really good coverage, a little goes a long way and I love using it under my eye area because it helps to prevent creasing under my eye and I just use tiny amount of it and it just covers my dark circle really well after applying I love using a beauty blender to blend it into the skin which it does a really good job for eyebrow I have always been loving the Kate's lasting eyebrow pencil it has two and one side is a retractable uh, pencil and the other side is a powder with a sponge applicator that you can fill in your eyebrows I have two here because one is an old version and then recently they came out with a new version which is a thinner pencil comparing, comparing side by side you can see the difference which the old one is a little bit thicker the new thin one it is really easy to fill in the end or the arch or fill in any gaps it just make it easier so I have been using this to interchange fully and if you're looking for an affordable eyebrow pencil I highly recommend you to try it because it is really handy and it has a really good staying power it lasts a long time on my eyebrows for eyeshadow I was very excited to try this Ingla eyeshadow which I finally get my hands on it because I have been wanting to try it for such a long time but there isn't any store around me and finally I get a chance to find it in another mall and so I get my hands on it and you can customize your eyeshadow palette or if you want you can add blush in your palette as well but I just want to try the eyeshadow so I just get the eyeshadow I got three pans but with five shades because there's three shades in this pen and the pigmentation is really really good and it's creamy buttery easy to apply I think you just can't go wrong with the Inkla eyeshadow I just really really enjoy it and I've been loving and using it a lot which is the eyeshadow I have been using on my eyes today if you can tell and also during the holiday seasons I got my hands on the NARS Stephen Klein eyeshadow in Stude which is um, tall brownish shimmery shades which is my favorite kind of shades for eyeshadow not only it is limited edition and the color is really pretty it's easy to apply easy to blend and i really like the kind of shimmering or glow in this eyeshadow i'm not sure can you still find it now but i have been really enjoying this eyeshadow as well for blush because i have been moving and packing everything so i just got my favorite palette with me which is the hourglass ambient lighting blush palette and I love all the shades in this palette but in the past month, I have been really really enjoying using the shades here which is Mood Explosure I love using it by the song or mixing it with the paint shade Lumias Flush or mixing three together I just love these three shades individually or mix it together it's really radiant and glowy kind of finish and also it is quite long lasting on my skin so I have been really enjoying it especially Moon Explosure for highlighter, no surprise after re reviewing the Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector highlighter I have been non-stop using it of course my favorite opal it is a paint tone highlighter I just love using it I just apply it everywhere I need to highlight it just gives you a perfect kind of sh glow highlight that you need and besides opal I have been using a lot the Jaclyn Hill Champagne Pop in this palette Champagne Pop is more a golden finish so it is a different shade from opal if I want something that's more concentrate on my skin for highlighting I will be using Champagne Pop for lips, I have four lips products to share with you today 
First, it is the lip pencil from Colourpop. I love their uh, lip pencil because it is easy to apply, creamy, and it lasts pretty well, especially into the shade Lume and Gurry. I have Lume for such a long time. I think I got it since it first came out. But I haven't been using it a lot because I wasn't really into lip pencil until lately. In this shade, I can combine it with different lip colors, no matter pink, nude, or morphe color. I just love, love, love mixing Lume with all different types of lipstick or different shades of lipsticks. And for this vintage brown lip color, I just love using it and then pair it with a nude lipstick. And for my lip combo, I have been using the Lume lip pencil and the Clarins Instant Light. Neutral Lip Perfector in the shade 06. This lip perfector is really glossy, smooth on the lips. It is a nude brownish color and I, I love mixing it together because the nude or the brownness is a little bit too brown on my skin tone I think. So mixing it with the Lume, it, it adds a little bit more red into it so it more pop out and I love it a lot and I have been using this combination a lot in the past month. And if I don't want to spend a lot of time to do my lips, this is my go-to which is the Bite Beauty High Pigment Pencil in Rubber which is a Morphe red color. Bite Beauty lipstick is really easy to apply and very pigmented creamy on the lips and I don't have to worry about eating it because for the natural ingredients If I don't want to think about what I'm wearing, I just throw this on and I'm good to go That's why I always have this lipstick in my purse Last but not least, Perfume Elizabeth and James Nar Narvina The white one is one of my favorite perfume And when I saw they came out with the perfume oil I just can resist to get it because it lasts a lot longer And I don't have to worry about re reapplying it So I have been really enjoying using this perfume oil And if I want to hold something, I can quickly reapply I have been really enjoying the Roses de Chloe I got it in the roller ball because I want something to throw it in my bag And I can reapply it quickly, easily So I have been really really enjoying this And I have been thinking to get the full size of it because I just love Rose's perfume and this just makes me feel so refreshing and sweet and ladyish, feminist and I'm just really really enjoying this and yeah, this is all the product I have been loving in the past few months thank you for watching, I hope you enjoy it and find it helpful and until then, I'll see you in my next video bye! eyeshadow base which is my holy grail eyeshadow primer and this is the only primer which can last or help my eyeshadow to last on my oily eyelid the whole day for foundation, I got two foundations this time and I got the NARS Sheer Glow foundation I saw a lot of YouTubers having a 